All right, so we've started working on the database for our new navigation system. Now let's go ahead and implement it on the front end, which isn't going to take a whole lot of time because we've already got uh, okay, most of the pieces and parts there. We're just pulling from the, um, the, the wrong table. We want to take it from the pages table and you know get things from navigation instead. So let's hop over to Aptana. And let's go ahead and click on template open navigation and I, and I want to note now um, we will soon be taking the site and turning it into uh, the same kind of format that we've done the admin I think I've already mentioned that before but we'll be taking that whole uh, views approach to the pages and that'll give us the ability to have different types of pages and things like that so alright let's go ahead and just for now let's comment out these hard-coded links and save that and now we need to get into the uh, main nav function so we need to get into that and that will be in the template.php of the functions folder let's change this to navigation And we're going to skip this selected part for the moment. And let's see. For the href property, we're going to be doing the URL. Label can stay the same. Now, selected is going to be a little bit different because we don't have a slug here. So, what we're going to have to do is actually retrieve that slug from the uh, pages table to check against it. Now let's go let's go ahead and open up the sandbox and I'm going to create a so I'm going to create a function here and uh, I have a feeling I might change how I do this a little bit uh, down the line here but for now let's just uh, the function and uh, we'll just call this git slug DBC and the URL. I'll explain what I'm going to attempt here and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of dissect this uh, URL that's saved in the uh, navigation table. Okay, and uh, I'm kind of making this up as I go. So I often do this because I think it, it gives you an insight into how to uh, kind of learn how to tackle a problem because there's you know a billion different ways to do one thing when it comes to programming so my first thought is is uh, we need to get the slug at the end of the URL what I'm thinking is is we can detect where the last slash is in the URL and then remove everything either either remove everything before it or extract everything after it and uh, so my thinking is that would return the slug so let's give that a whirl we're gonna first find the very last occurrence of the slash so we're gonna do a it's a string position function but it's string reverse so let's first get that position do position equals string r position and our properties are the uh, needle and the haystack or haystack and needle sorry the other way around so haystack being the URL and needle will be the slash character close that then uh, now we got to do something with that information so now we're gonna do what's called a substring function in PHP 
and that's going to allow us to pretty much extract part of a string and do it from a certain position. So we'll call this slug equals then sub string or str. And here's our parameters. We have the string, which is most important. And then we have start. And then we also have the option of length. Uh, in this case, we're just going to use start. So the string, of course, is going to be URL. And the starting position will be what was returned from the line above in the uh, string reverse position function. And uh, let's just return that. Let's save this and then hop back over to template.php. Let's come up here and give ourselves a couple lines here. And we'll do slug equals get slug. And send it the nav URL. And then over here where we uh, echo out the label, let's just go ahead and take advantage of that and echo out slug. So uh, we'll just see if this even worked. Save that, hop over to our page. Refresh. And look at that. There it is. So we have slash home. Now we don't actually want the slash there. So let's go back really quick and to our sandbox. And we're gonna do substring, but then it's gonna be position plus one. Because the position being returned is the actual position of the slash. So that's going to be included in our substring. So let's save this and we'll try it again. Refresh. Awesome. So now what we can do is hop back over to Aptana, go to template.php, go ahead and remove this echo. And then here for nav slug, I was going to have you replace it, but you know what, let's go ahead and just, we'll change this, we'll add the slug to the navigation array. So, called this nav slug, and save that. Come back here and refresh. There you go, our active state works now.